anybody that knows me, and hopefully the governor when she hired me knew me well enough to know, if you ask me to do something that's illegal or wrong, I'm not going to do it. Jerry Foxhoven claims he did speak to the governor's chief of staff about the objection to sign off on a DHS salary agreement for the governor's deputy chief of staff, Paige Thorson, because it involved federal Medicaid money. He says he was let go the day before he planned to contact the attorney general. They knew I was going to be sending an email to the attorney general's office on Tuesday. Monday they told me, your position is over, give me your key card and your cell phone, don't go back to your office. Foxhoven said he did voice his concerns to Sarah Craig Gongle, who told us on our close-up show last Sunday. That's simply not true. Um, we never discussed this agreement with, with uh, Foxhoven. He never um, knew about this, this agreement that we asked uh, the interim director to sign. So he's not, being ac he's not being truthful in that statement. Well, she's not telling the truth about it. You know, the bottom line is I had a phone conversation with her and I made it very clear that I questioned whether it was legal or not. The governor claims she wanted to move DHS in a new direction, but the former director says she never complained about the job he was doing. Foxhoven joked it had nothing to do with being a fan of Tupac. Forever now linked with Tupac on, on Google so that my kids think that's pretty cool. He will file a claim of retaliation for whistleblowing to try to clear his name, he says, for all the hardworking DHS employees. Again, it goes back to those 4,000 people that they needed to hear from me, I didn't do anything wrong, and that I stood by what I asked them to stand by, which was follow the rules and do the right thing. Foxhoven's attorney told us today that he will seek a jury trial. Meantime, just moments ago, the governor released a statement saying in part, Foxhoven never raised concerns with me or my staff about the salary agreements in question.